Amazing. Well, thank you. Thanks. I'm excited to try your wine. Well, we're going to try some, uh, a lot of our dry wines today. We're going to try our Vidal Blanc first. Uh, this is one of our gold medal winners. Uh, this is a dry white, zero residual sugar. And uh, this is a native Missouri grape, so. Very cool. Off of our 107 Vine uh, label. Well, cheers. Cheers. Let's give it a taste. So um, tell me, how, how did you get into making wine? Well, uh, I actually started in my kitchen and then moved to the basement. And then uh, we moved into our first place in Macon. Uh, once we had started our place in Macon, uh, Dr. Jackson showed up. He said, hey, come up and look at my barn. And uh, we were like, yeah, this will, this will work. So about uh, eight months later, we had another winery here. And then uh, we have moved on over into Hannibal at the Mark Twain Cave. Well, I've killed that delicious uh, Vidal Blanc. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, no, like no, I said. No, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. We're gonna rinse you out here real quick. Cool, cool. Dump you out, and uh, we'll move on to our signature red. This is the only one that we actually bring in um, California grapes. It has Syrah, it's a 50-50 blend of Syrah Chamberson. And Chamberson is our, uh, kind of our grape at, our, at the winery. Missouri State grapes the Norton, but we prefer Chamberson because I like Pinot Noirs, and Chamberson's a Pinot Noir hybrid, so. Cheers. Yeah. This one was a gold or double gold medal winner uh, last year, I believe, so. Oh, that's great. When we make wine, the only thing that we'll ever add really to it is sugar if it doesn't have enough sugar to make enough high enough alcohol. So we stick to a traditional, we ferment the grapes, we bring them in, we crush them, ferment them, and we very rarely have to make any adjustments because we actually buy the best grapes from the start. So this place is absolutely beautiful. It's a wonderful barn, great location. What's the story behind uh, all this? Well, actually, uh, Andrea? Are you here? Hey, hey, I'm Will. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. You have a beautiful building. Thank you. Uh, care to show me around? I would love to. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Chris. Hey. Your wine is awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna grab a bottle next chance I get. So, well, let's let's take a look around. are here for Kirksville. Um, we now have quite a few event centers that have popped up in the past actually year, um, but prior to that there really weren't many. Um, and so we just want to provide something different to the community and just really try uh, to take on different types of events. Um, we've even had a celebration of life um, for a young man that passed away. And so just really trying to make it unique and special. Um, so I think that's really what our main goal is. We want to share and we want to contribute in that manner. So. Uh, I think you guys have succeeded in contributing and having a beautiful space and, and, and sharing that is, is a wonderful thing. Um, I, I look forward to coming back and, and having some more wonderful wine. Yes, when you're not working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or when I am working. There you are. Right? Right. <laughs> Spark your spirit of discovery and experience more unique Missouri people and places on the Missouri Life Channel. Like and subscribe to keep up with the latest content.